Hey everyone, this is Dave coming at you again with another art history video. Mysteriously, this one is going to be super short on essentially why in the 1400s, why were you seeing paintings where the background and the clothing looked fantastic, but the figures were not as realistic. And if you saw my other video, I was proposing that when people were painting pictures like this, as opposed to ones like this, which were done a couple years earlier, they were getting this look by using effectively projections and comparator mirrors, right? So the thing is, if you're using such a device, it takes a while. It takes a really long time to do it because you're kind of doing it centimeter by centimeter. So my suspicion is that stuff that didn't move, you know, the studio, you don't need anyone there, the clothes, you can put the clothes on dress forms or whatnot. All that stuff that isn't moving is looking great because you can spend the time on it. The actual people, the figures, you're going to have them there for 10 or 20 minutes. You're going to do some sketches. You're pretty much going to paint them sort of to the best of your ability without the optical aids because you just you you just can't walk over them centimeter by centimeter like you can everything else. So I think the people in this painting sort of look like how the artist draws people and then everything else looks like you know the the rendering he got from using the comparator mirror. Uh, same thing here. So this portrait Woman's skin tone and face, not that realistic. Dress looks fantastic. Again, you know, your model shows up, you do a pretty quick sketch of, of your model, and you're like, hey, thanks, leave the dress, right? She takes off, you paint the background, and then you can spend all weekend, right? You can spend 72 solid hours just doing the dress, sitting there on a dress form, and make the dress look fantastic. The person who moves, not so much. Uh, similar thing with the dog, right? Uh, these shoes look fantastic because they're not moving. The dog, it was going to move. So again, the comparator mirror could not be used and the artist was just left to their own devices. My other suspicion is if there was like a sculpture in the background of this painting, I think the sculpture would look fantastic, right? So if there's a really good sculpture back there, I think the sculpture would look super realistic, far more realistic than this figure because she was moving. So anyway, yeah, that's... Uh... That's uh, my quick little hypothesis there. So as usual, if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.